Guys, I'm gonna do a very requested YouTube. I'm gonna give you my hair tips to try and keep my hair healthy. Before this video starts, obviously, a couple things like I don't dye my hair. So obviously straight away, that is gonna help so much with the damage on your hair. Obviously, when you color your hair, it's just gonna become more damaged. Therefore, it's gonna split more, etc. But I did recently get some, well, a few months ago now, layers put into my hair and I don't like them and I'm trying to grow them out. Also went to Mykonos and it was so windy. I forgot my hair oil and hair oil is so, so crucial, so crucial. And um, I'll go into that a little bit more. Yeah, I forgot my hair oil. And when I say I was like ripping my hair out when I was brushing it, because the wind, my hair was literally like this, so knotty. And then I had no oil or anything, even conditioner. I was slowly leaving conditioner in my hair and it was just like, <sighs> I was pulling out chunks. So. My hair needs some TLC, so I thought I'd take you guys along with me for that little journey. I'm not going to take you in the shower with me. I did try that once before, and I never uploaded it because it was it was all over the shop. So, shampoo and conditioner isn't like a main part of this video. I have run out of a lot of shampoo and conditioner. I need to do a restock. I mean, I hear really good things about it. Alex has actually been using this, not me. Um, but I am just going to use it today for the sake of not having any shampoo. It's the Opex. Um, shampoo but i have personally been using this so this was prescribed to me by the doctors because of my scalp um, and i used it three times a week to start with for about two weeks and then i went to twice and now i'm using it really at once every two weeks like once every two weeks actually every 10 days because it's just preventative and yeah just to keep using it because this stuff is quite stripping of your hair so i'm not going to use that one today because i have used it already if you are suffering with um, anything scalp issues then this one is really good also this one is one that i did use prior as well but this one really does smell like really super super strong and it just didn't seem to be working for me that well which is why then i've got this one and i found it was much much better even though this one says two percent this one says four percent I don't know, it could be stressed as well. But this one is also a really good one. My sister and mum's sister and my dad all suffer from psoriasis. So hopefully I'm not going to also suffer from that. I do get really bad scalp and they both swear by this one. But for me personally, this has been a really great one. I've also been using a scalp treatment, which is Kerastase, which is kind of like just to put it into your scalp and then it kind of gets into like a really lovely foam and you just leave it on there, shave your legs, whatever. So that's a really great one as well. Treatment that I probably would use every, I mean to be honest with you, I'm quite forgetful and stuff, so probably once every three weeks. But I really love using it and I feel like it's really good, good because obviously your scalp, your scalp, your scalp is where everything, all the goodness and everything happens. We've got to keep that going and then I will give you some more her hair tips as we get down there because then obviously once we're here the scalp is no longer involved and then conditioner so i've been using this one which is the living proof hair mask you will laugh at me because i basically i love the garnier um hair mask condition and stuff as well and they sent me more which i thought <sighs> It wasn't the hair masks, I don't read obviously. It was in fact moisturizer and I have been using moisturizer on my ends and I was like, God, they've really gone downhill, haven't they? But I also do love the Garnier hair masks, which are really good. Also the Kerastase, again, I've said I've run out of things recently, but I have been using this one and I do really like it. So I will wash my hair and everything and then I'm gonna dry it, I'm gonna treat it and I'll show you everything I do there as well. Let's get a shower and also I wanna show you this because I have um, just bought it, as I've said, a lot recently. I um, exfoliated my face for months and I finally bought an exfoliator. Finally. That's gonna last me about two days. I thought I was buying a big one. I mean, it's very cute. Very, very cute. And I'm so excited to exfoliate my face properly. Anyway, um, I'm gonna shower and I'll see you when I'm all fresh. I go for two shampoos um, because uh, it feels dirty. If it was cleaner, if I washed it like two days ago um, or like yesterday, I'd only go for one shampoo, but when my hair feels dirty, I will go for two shampoos. Out of the shower, you can probably hear the rain pouring as well. I put about that much of this product on my hand and then I just, just run it through the ends of my hair like so and then i just do that i'm always doing that with my hair yeah basically you want it to air dry for as long as possible before like putting any heat through it etc obviously if you can avoid it 
try not to put heat on it. I did actually have that thing which just goes like that along your head. I'll see if I can find it in a minute. And then you sleep in it, which did make your curls come out really nice apart from it didn't really work with the front of my hair. But that was a really great product. So yeah, basically I would just let my hair air dry for a while, wax my moustache like I just did, and then I'm gonna do my makeup and then dry it with the Dyson. And then another tip which I forgot to, not another tip, another thing I've got to tell you is we recently put this thing on our shower head which I actually got sent and it's called Hello Clean, but clean is spelled with a K. And it basically means that the, like purifies the water and the speed or something or another so that it's basically better for your hair, better for your skin. So I've had that on there for about a month and yeah, it's really nice and you can just feel it's not as like bam, 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 bam on your hair. There we go, I feel like that's better. That just makes me look ill. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of work and then air dry. And then uh, this is my little dressing gown, which is from Skims. Very comfortable. I have a dressing gown obsession, um, but more like stinky silk ones rather than like the big fluffy ones. Back Ooh, with the hair. My hair is basically Basically, all pretty much dried. It's just a little bit damp. My hair does dry quite straight. So if I brushed it straight and then it up dry straight, if I didn't have layers, it would just be like pretty straight. So I'm gonna use this, which is Larry King's. It's called My Nana's Moose. And then I'm just gonna put like that was like four squirts, and then just go through the actual like top of my hair here more. Try and get some volume. When I use my Dyson, I've already put the protecting product through my hair, and then I use this, which is. I love the product itself with the applicator. It breaks every time worth buying. But it's just the one thing the applicator does break. So I do just have to pour it into my hands and then put it on my hair, which I don't know if I've just been unlucky. Basically just section this top part of my hair like so, and then just clip it in and then I pull these side bits down and then I use my paddle brush which is from Avida. Absolutely love it. As I said before, you steal my mum's. I finally bought my own. Now she steals mine. Full circle moments. So yeah, and then I get this. So no idea when you have carpet. And then I basically re-wet the ends of my hair, like so. Don't worry about how much product you're using with that. You can't use too much, it is just... And then I'm gonna do Dyson, so basically just section off my hair like so. And then I basically just do this the whole way around. So that's done, and then I just pop it behind my head. And then I take the front bits down and then just add some more of the Larry King volumizing hair mist. Give it a little brush through. Obviously start from the bottom and then from there, I just get a couple of the front bit. La -da -da. And then I do actually bring it here and split it in half. Like so, push the curly bits back. One second, I need to just find my body. Farting found, and then, and then with these front bits, I try and like lift it high, like that, so I'm not doing it from down there. And then the same here, try not to knot it. And then the same on this side. And I put this little clip in here, basically to try and keep the volume at the top like that and then let it all cool and then I will come back to you when I'm dressed. Hey guys, so now I'm just going to gently brush my hair out. It's not been in um, like cooling for that long because I don't want like really big like tight curls. Obviously the longer you leave it to cool, the tighter your curls will be, etc. But I mean, yeah, you can definitely see my ends at the moment are super damaged. So I'm gonna use oil. Also, if you ever see me on Instagram, um, with a plait in my hair that know that it is soaked in oil. Yeah, the days that you see that know that soaked in oil, trying to have, look after my hair kind of thing. And when it's in like a top knot, etc. cetera. Um, obviously another trick that is really great is for split ends. If you roll your hair like that and then you can kind of see all the ends coming off and then you just like, cut into them. Obviously, be careful, don't actually cut your hair, um, but I am gonna get my mom to come up soon and just give my hair a little, a little refresh, um, a little trim. Obviously, regular trims are really good because basically what happens is your hair starts to break off. It's nothing necessarily to do with the rate that your hair grows. It's just the fact that your hair is splitting because you're not looking after the ends, etc. properly. Very fortunate that my mom was a hairdresser, so she's always giving me really good tips and things like that. Um, to look after my hair, which I have been ignoring a lot recently. Very bad. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end my little vlog here. 
Um, but thank you so much for my vlog. This isn't a vlog. And my little hair um, tips and what I'm using and stuff at the moment. Hopefully it's helpful and I will definitely keep you updated on my hair journey. This is about to die, but have a lovely day with whatever you guys are doing. Um, and I'll catch up with you all pretty soon. Bye.